This is Chad Simmons from On3, Director of Recruiting out in California this week for the Elite 11 Finals. And some of the best players in the country, obviously quarterbacks are out here uh, competing. And after day one, I want to give you some of the, the interesting storylines and, and recruiting nuggets we have uh, out here in Torrance, California, starting with five-star quarterback Dante Moore. Uh, was back at Oregon for the second time over the weekend. And uh, I know Oregon's in a great spot. There's no doubt they're trending right now. They're the hot team. Uh, and things have shifted from Notre Dame to, to LSU. Michigan's always been there. Of course, Texas A&M is in there as well. But Oregon right now is the hot team trending for Dante. And it goes from Dan Lanning to Kenny Dillingham to the culture at Oregon. Uh, a lot going in the favor of the Ducks right now. I think the biggest competition may be Texas A&M and then also Michigan uh, at this time. There's talk that he may go back to Texas A&M. Nothing planned at the moment, but there is some talk about potentially getting back to College Station uh, as early as late July when things open back up. But right now, Oregon is trending for Dante Moore. Another hot quarterback out here is Avery Johnson from Kansas, announcing his decision on July 5th. I think, obviously, the in-state program, Kansas State, has been trending for some time. I like the chances uh, for the Wildcats to keep him at home when he makes that decision. Another name rising up the boards is Brock Glenn, added an LSU offer recently before that. Ohio State was trying to commit before this event, uh, just didn't feel he was ready uh, to make that decision. And, and when asked on Tuesday evening about that timeline, he wants to commit as soon as possible. I think he wants to have a, a couple of Zoom meetings with LSU's coaching staff uh, as soon as he gets back home to Memphis, and then maybe he'll look to make a decision right now. I hear the most about Ohio State and Florida State. Uh, of course, Auburn's in there as well. He mentioned TCU. And then you have LSU who's trying to come in this late. Another quarterback that's definitely a hot topic out here is Austin Novoset. He's a Baylor commit, potentially flipping to Ohio State. Uh, I hear more about the new school, Texas A&M, where his dad went to school. A&M Legacy may get back to College Station as early as July. Uh, and I'm hearing more about him staying in-state. Uh, in Texas, whether staying with Baylor or flipping to Texas A&M. Uh, Ohio State's trying to stay involved, but right now A&M is the biggest threat to Baylor based on my intel. And then going away from quarterbacks to Deuce Robinson, he's out here catching balls and five-star tight end from Arizona, fresh off an official visit to, uh, to USC earlier this month, was catching balls from USC commit Malachi Nelson, USC quarterback Caleb Williams, had the USC glove zone, and USC is definitely trending for the five-star tight end. I don't think he's ready to commit just yet. Uh, I think they'll be hard to beat in the end, but keep an eye on Texas. You know, he's talked to Arch Manning, uh, wants to take an OV there uh, sometime during the season. He has family in Austin as well. Alabama and Georgia are in the hunt as well for Deuce Robinson. But right now, I think Lincoln Riley and his program in Los Angeles are in the driver's seat.